Hello folks, quick little bonus episode while the party is still weak enough for it to be understood. So, one of the experiences in the game is the, oh my god, this is nasty, that you run into um, in various parts. The other thing is, aside from two locations, Pretty much everywhere is unlocked. There's two hidden locations that you need a plot point to uncover. And there's a couple locations where things are locked behind doors that you can't open until you've progressed so far in the game. But otherwise, the game is wide open. So, you saw, we've got the high pool over there, over here in the agricultural center and oh there's that mine and this was especially insidious uh, with the game because right here this is a little harder to see it just kind of looks like a mountain but in the original game it was just one of the generic city icons so you're like oh Oh, that's neat. The Guardian Citadel. I wonder what this is. And you walk up and... Oh. Cute. Ooh, this sounds ominous. Paragraph 85, huh? Well, let's see what this has to say. You know the Guardians to be strange collectors of old items and as xenophobic fools who would not hesitate to kill strangers without ever seeing the whites of their eyes. You've learned that the flags are in place to mark the closest an outsider may approach the walls without being attacked. Hmm. Black structure. Hmm. That, that doesn't seem likely. Leave Wasteland Scum. You're not old enough to die here. Realize you've not got the armor it would take to survive an assault on this place. You don't have the weapons to crack this nut yet. Now, when you're just playing the game, hoo 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 hee hee hee, you kind of ignore that. But in reality, it's not kidding. The game is actually does check. If I, uh, at least one version did. Would actually check the party's armor. So if you came in here and you had the armor and you had the weapons, uh, either these would change or they'd go away. Or it's just... You, it never thinks you've got enough. But it's like, oh, this isn't, this isn't real. Yeah, and there they are. And oh, Sister Theodosa. Oh, I better load. Oh, and Thrasher's only got a knife. Oh, but Snake can shoot. Sister Theodosa, Sister Lucretia, and Sister Ursula. Well, I mean, it's a nun with a gun, but I mean, how bad can it be? Oh. Knocks him unconscious. Critically wounds him. Oh. Now she's mortally wounded. Oh. That's... That's not good. I better switch to a gun. Critically wounds. Mortally wounds. Oh, dear. And now normally in the game, as soon as someone woke up from being unconscious, you'd be back in combat. You wouldn't have a chance to do anything. So let me try and reload. Oh, seriously wounded. So you're playing the game and you're like, oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Run! And sometimes you'd get lucky, and you actually would run. But usually... But usually, you wouldn't get lucky. And truth be told, those were some of the weaker... Guardians. If you made the mistake of rushing up to Brother Goliath, he'd put you in the ground. 
So, yeah, this was shockingly common because the Guardian Citadel is an endgame location. It is usually the second to last place you go. And it's right there at the beginning. And you were told, hey, go west. There's these three places to the west of you. You should start looking there. And, oh, here, here's another place that's right by them. So it should be of a similar level, right? No. No, it's not. No. It's not. It's not even close. And if you go to Brother Goliath... Let's see if we can even get to Brother Goliath. Now, what I did as a kid was this. Brother Goliath. Oh, knocked him comatose straight off. Are we there? Nope, we're not there yet. I charged Brother Goliath because I was like, all right, I'm going to take down Brother Goliath. Giant of a man in heavy black armor. Knocked her out. Knocked and seriously wounded him. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is pretty bad. Oh, but you couldn't run away because Brother Goliath just critically hit somebody. And again, with this, I can take a step back and at least get out of Brother Goliath's range. Not so much with the original. And there's David. Critical, 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 comatose, critical. Go serious, critical, comatose, mortal. No. Critical mortal comatose dead. Oh, and one other thing. Um, in all the other versions, when you've only got that single save game, it saves your game here. See, in the Commodore 64, you had to make copies of the four game discs. And the Guardian Citadel was on disc three. So, you have everybody knocked out, and then it tells you to hit enter to end combat, and then it tells you to insert disc one, and if you insert disc one, that's when it loads up your life has ended in the wasteland, and saves your game. Your only game file, if you load the game, loads up to this. Skeleton, party dead. You have to recopy all four discs and start over again. I got really good at turning off the power to my disc drive to keep it from saving. And just turning off the computer and turning it back on to reboot the game. Because with only one save file and with the game saving on death, every game, every time, was Iron Man.